take it upon the t atonement, it's high days, it's Sabbath days, and you're trying to come together. Don't think about it. So happy you just walked in. Christ called you. But it's not saying that you're going to stay here. It's your job to stay here now. Amen. He give you a choice. He give me a choice. If you want to leave or not, but he's going to draw you and make a way so he can raise you up at the last day. Go ahead. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Mm -hmm. Every man, therefore, that has heard and has learned of the Father cometh unto me. So if you heard of this and you learned of the Father, don't exclude the Father now. The Father is the main ingredient. But Jesus is going to get you to the Father. And this atonement is what we're showing that we know what Jesus did for us to get us to the Father. So he can hear us when we pray. But most people don't see how important this is. Look out there tomorrow in the world. They'll be going all about what they want to do. And, you, and some of us think you're missing out on something. Yeah, you're missing out on something. That lake of fire. That's what you're missing out on. That's what I'm missing out on. Yes, sir. <laughs> thank the Lord. I thank the Lord I found this. Amen. Go ahead. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God. He has seen the Father. Go ahead. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me has everlasting life. If you believe on him, you'll keep the day of atonement. You will fast on the day of atonement. You will also remember to teach your kids about this day. But if you want to be their friend, you want to make them happy all the time, you don't want to make them obey, you won't teach them jack about this. You just let it roll by. And I'm not trying to tell you to force them. Teach them. Teach them. Teach whoever you can. So you can go, so God can look down and say, you know what? His labor wasn't, wasn't in vain. Her labor wasn't in vain. They did something. That one that... I always think of this, how God said when he said the righteous shall scarcely be saved. He goes, Jeff, I was going to put you in that lake of fire, but you ministered to that last man before you die. That's the reason why you got him. When he said the righteous shall be scarcely saved, just think about it. The things that we do according to this gospel is accounted for our salvation. Every little thing. Or you was in the store seeing somebody buying something, or they asked you about this meat, and they said, man, what you think about these poor chop right here? And you said, no, I don't want none. You said, no, man, you don't need to eat that. Because you go to hell for that. And he said, I remember that when you told them that. So come on in. Well, that's how you're going to shake your head like, whoa, the righteous shall be scarcely saved. That means that they're going to barely make it in. So every little thing that you do is accounted for your salvation. We're going to end off that. <coughs> and also on this day of atonement, the books say fast. Now if you got some medical issues you're dealing with, hey, 